Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at forgotten Windows 11 password help. So if you have forgotten your Windows 11 password, like you can see on the screen right here, then this video is for you. I'm going to go and show you how to reset your password, but also some of the things that you need to take into account if you're trying to reset your password. Now, the first thing, you don't need to pay for any software to reset your Windows 11 or Windows 10 password. You can use software like this, which is 100% free for home users. So if you're a home user, you can use the password recovery software, which is on this website. I'll leave a link in the video description. Now, recover my password software is right here. So we need to hit the free download now, and this will take us to the download page where you can read the information. So you can see right here, the free home edition is for home users only. This is going to allow us to basically reset our Windows password. So let's go ahead and get this downloaded. And what this is going to do is create a pre-installed environment or a WinPE disk with their software on it to be able to reset the password for us. You don't need to pay for any software that you might see online. Use this method and it's completely free. So let's go ahead and install the software on the computer. Make sure you're using a computer that doesn't have a password on it. And that way we can create our bootable USB media. So we're going to launch the software right here. This is the software. I've got a USB flash drive plugged into the computer and we're going to come straight down and you can see right here, there is burn CD USB disk right up the very top. The password recovery section will say you must run the recovery disk option, which is the big green one right at the very top here. And this is the one that you need to click on right here. So let's go ahead and click on this. And this will open up this box right here that says same as computer. And then we can click on the options area. Under the uh, WinPE options, you can specify which WinPE version you want to use. So we're going to use the Windows 11 64-bit PE version. If you're on Windows 10, you can use the Windows 10 64-bit PE as well. Once you've done that, this is an area where you can add drivers in if you need drivers. And you can also USB disk options, which is to format whether you want to use FAT32 or NTFS. I've only got a small little USB drive here, so I'll leave that as FAT32. Click Next. Now you can choose the USB flash drive. In this case, mine's on letter E, which is this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select E. Your drive letter might be different, but let's go ahead and select our USB flash drive here. From here, we can now click Start, and this will start the process. You can see it's downloading the WinPE components from Microsoft servers, and it's now going to ask us to basically format our USB flash drive. So if you have any data on here, then make sure it's backed up because it will be erased. So I'm going to say yes, and this will then copy all the files over to our USB flash drive. And this will then enable us to boot to this USB flash drive and reset the password on the PC that we have uh, been locked out of. So let's go ahead and wait till this finishes. And once it's completed, you will see wizard finished. We can then click on the finish button to finish off uh, the job. So let's go ahead and do that right here. And once that's done, it brings you back to this window right here. So let's take a look at our drive. You can see it's now been renamed and it has all the necessary files on here. So all we need to do is boot to that actual drive. But first, I just want to quickly show you there's an option here to download an ISO file. If you prefer to keep an ISO file, you can create one right here by selecting ISO image and then put it into the location you want to save it as and then click start and it will go through and create an ISO file for you so you can use it at a later date for another job. That's now done and there is our ISO file right there. So now we have a USB flash drive and an ISO file uh, created for us. So let's go ahead and now close this down and boot to our USB flash drive. So I'm on a virtual machine here, so I'm going to select uh, boot to CD. So now we're booting up to our live CD here. And what we're going to do is let this load up. It takes a bit of time. Be patient. And once this gets to the desktop, it should look something like this. There we go. We're at there now. It does look a bit basic, but don't worry. It does the job that we need it to do. So we can close off this outer box right here. And we should now see the actual uh, recover my password section right here. It's got a big character on there with the key on it. 
which is pretty self-explanatory. Click on this one and this one open up another box. And there we go. It says reset Windows password. That's perfectly fine. You can see here there is a drop down here, but we can find a Windows product key if we wanted to. But we're going to reset our password. You can load some drivers here if you want to, but we don't need to do that. Let's click next. Then it's going to give us a message saying, are you sure you're using this as non-commercial use? We're going to say yes here. And all of these settings are exactly right. Windows 11 X64 edition and also reset local password. So we can click on the next screen. And then what this is going to do is give us the user accounts that are in use on this computer. So the one we want to reset is this one right here. And you can see the password is set on there. So it says, yes, we've got a password on here and we need to reset it. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the one we want to reset. Gives you all the information about the account properties right here. And we need to click on next. So let's go next. And now all we need to do is leave this blank and we can now click on reset unlock the big blue button right here. And once we've done this, it will remove the password and leave it blank. So the password has been reset successfully. Click finish. And then we can shut down the computer and remove the USB flash drive and then boot to that computer. And it should just allow you to go straight in. You might see a log on screen, but that's OK. You just click on log in and it should allow you to log straight in. So let me just show you here what it will look like once you boot up to the screen. There you go. And now from here, you should be able to just click sign in and you should be back at the desktop without having to put your password in. And now we can create another password if you want to. So will this reset your Microsoft account? The answer to that is no, it won't. You won't be able to bypass and reset your Microsoft account in this uh, way if you have a local setup like here so let me just go to settings and go to your accounts right here you will see that this account was a local account if you have it as a local account you can reset the password but if you've signed in as a microsoft account right here and not a local account this method will not work and you will not be able to bypass this method this is why a microsoft account password is a lot more secure also, pass keys and facial sign-in and pins, these are also linked to your Microsoft account. So using these are much more secure and you will not be able to bypass this using this method. It just won't work. The only method this works for is a local account. So if you've tried this method and it's not working for you, then it's more than likely that you have some sort of pin or face recognition or fingerprint sensor or maybe you've got a microsoft account and it's not allowing you to bypass it using this method anyway with that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the next video or i'll see you on the discord server for a chat bye for now